test uh, the sample must be placed under the needle and lower the needle so it touches the bottom of the sample. Close the lid and for this test it's easiest to open the pump drawer and then we can especially look at the sample line where there should go sample up tube 5 um, where it goes, goes to the bulb. Then we here it should be starting. Here you see the sample moving. And if you take a look at the screen, we you see there's no good image yet, and there you see the sample approaching. Close the lid. Let's see to see if there is material coming. Yeah, I think it's starting. Yes, start now. What do you do? Okay, good question. Here you see the. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, below 100, all those cells are breaking down, so it's you are looking at debris at this bottom that they remain intact and they start getting more and more elastic as they approach the optimal. Um, the optimal uh, osmolality for the cells which should be around 300 and it will go down after the 300 where the cells will shrink again uh, shrinking towards uh, like a raisin that gets rigid from being shrunk That is what you're seeing now. So in the first part it is debris, cells that have exploded due to the low osmolality. Here they stay intact but they are very uh, not rigid, very not uh, deformable and here they become more and more uh, deformable, higher deformability. And this could be considered the osmotic resistance of the cells of this person. I don't want to print. I can, we can remove the sample tube and rinse, and rinse the system or uh, run another sample. But this time we will rinse it.